10 Facts About South Africa Women There is something intriguing about South African women. They are endowed with some qualities that other African countries would like to admire. They are nice, submissive, and respectful, although women in South Africa will look down upon with less concern, not given the privilege to air their view where men are found. Men are the pillar of the house. They tried to follow the biblical teaching. Women have been found with great attributes and values among South African people. They were able to contribute to the growth of the nation economically, socially, and politically. They later strike up the balance of equality of the gender race. These are some basic facts about the women in South Africa. 1. one. They're so gorgeous South African women are very charming, romantic, extraordinarily appealing and stunning. They have the deep feature of European brown eyes because of their country genetic variety. Their bodily physique is well proportioned, possesses black or blonde hair and fair hazel eyes and a strong sense of self-awareness. They respect culture. South African women value culture, even while there are some different varieties of culture. They are taught how to show respect for authorities, those who are of high potential figure, and also learn how to behave well in the public. Courteous behavior is strongly alive, politeness and etiquette. Go in concomitant. 3. They are hospitable. Visitors are given high regards. They are always welcomed with an open arms. They show out the act of friendliness to make the visitors feel at home. When you visit South Africa, there is no need for you. Looking for an inn or hotel to lodge, they provide well-furnished room for guests which will be a shock to the guest. 4. They are charismatic. One can realize how enticing the charisma of the South African women are A. They have the ability to influence without the use of logic. They are infectious and intriguingly beautiful because of the country's cultural backgrounds. 5. They are more religious than men. South African women have a stronger religious conviction than men. Generally, Africa has the highest concentration of religion adherents. The women in South Africa are more devoted than men. They put their bodies and soul to the teachings and dogmatism of the religious practices. They have deeper faith in religion than men. 6. They are adventurous. A place of tourism can be inclusive as South Africa because of the size and diversity. Many activities can be carried out because of the spacious look. You can be on the road for days, skiing, hiking, boating, climbing, mountain and so on. Women in South Africa engage themselves in these. South Africans are always involved in adventures. It can be weekend or month ending. They also like visiting countries' national parks. They choose not to remain indoor, which is not part of exposure. 7. They take good care of men. South African women have regard for the opposite gender. They know how to take good care of men. Many South African women are raised in large families and light, knitted communities where they learn or they are taught how to treat men. The women devote their time to cater for both the men's and children's need domestically. 8. Their personalities are charming. South African women personalities are difficult to pin down with her charming and endearing attitude. They are nice and generous. Their physical attractiveness is enough to win the heart of a man to them. 9. They are a good cook. It will be appealing for one to draw near the South African women to have a taste of their meal. Attending South African Braai will make you give them an applaudable hand for cooking nicely. It has been part of them that 99 of the women passed the test of edible meal. The Zulu can be cited as an example. They know how to prepare a perfect meal when they are found in the kitchen. 10. They are educational. Women have been ignored and deprived of education in the past. They were looked down upon as the second class who has no or little contribution to the development of the country. This call for a cry, agitation and advocacy of human right. They try to redefine what is called gender equality via equity. 
This paves a way for many to become well influential personalities within their country and internationally. They were able to contribute to the development of their country economically, socially and politically. A typical example can be seen through the fight against apartheid and other notable social vices. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more.